My name is Joe Salama. And I'm Karen Pendergrass. And we have with us today Rob Wolf to talk about the paleo movement. It's like if you don't love this stuff, if you don't love helping people, if you don't have a, a vision of doing something good for our kids and grandkids, maybe it's not for you. Yeah. Like, and we have with us today Keith Norris from Efficient Exercise. Everything. I mean, you can see these people when they initially walk in and the self-esteem's in the tank. I mean, they're just, nothing is right in their life. And you can fix this one thing and it just, it just flowers and goes out. I mean, that's, to me, that's amazing. And we have with us Paul Jaminet. If you're not eating many carbohydrates, then there's a triage process. Um, and this is true for every nutrient. When you're deprived of a nutrient, the body allocates it to the most urgent uh, uses. Uh, and it, it uh, deprives it from other uses. And so you gradually, uh, you know, you lose those functions. And today we're going to talk about supplementation. And to help us along with that, we have Chris Kresser here. Do it. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden they have toxic levels of vitamin D. They're at hi higher risk of hypercalcemia, elevated calcium levels in the mm -hmm. blood. That puts them at greater risk for kidney stones mm -hmm. and cardiovascular disease. Mm -hmm. Most nutrients have a U-shaped curve mm -hmm. or a sweet spot, which mm -hmm. means if, it, if we don't have enough, we're in trouble. But if we have too much, we're in trouble as well. And yeah. I, there's not enough attention paid to that in terms of uh, advice on supplementation. When we're here today to talk about poop with Jordan Reasoner. Is you kind of hit walls. Where you're like, oh, I don't tolerate this, I don't tolerate this, I'm kind of stuck. And I think in general when you talk about what does it mean to heal your gut, there's it's somebody that can continue to introduce new foods, tolerate them well, and then over six months to a year graduate up to a paleo diet, introduce safe starches, and they're generally symptom free. And today we're talking with Chris Masterjohn. Meanwhile, you had all these people in the 1950s and 1960s who thought that cholesterol was the main cause of heart disease mm -hmm. and they didn't know anything about vitamin K. So they started saying, oh, we're gonna test vegetable oils to replace animal fats and get rid yeah. of the eggs because they have cholesterol, then we can prevent heart disease. Margarine. And they didn't know that, there were, that egg yolks were the best source of vitamin K too. And we have with us today, Daryl Edwards. A child, a, a toddler can deadlift, you know, half their body weight without mm -hmm. even thinking. Mm -hmm. You know, some of them can deadlift even their entire body weight. Great they can form. pick up, yeah, with great form. You know, a, a four-year-old can pick up their two-year-old, no issue at all. Yeah. You know, uh, they can do this. It's part of our natural uh, blueprint, um, and so we need to, you know, we need to we regain it, it and we discover it. And <laughs> with us today, David All of those peptides really go back to the brain and most of them by far what I refer to as anorexigenic signaling pathways. So they, they act in the hypothalamus in these specific neuron clusters called nuclei, you know, to, to turn on the pathways for telling you to stop eating, the behaviors for that, and the feeling of that. We have Dr. Shauna Young with us. Mm -hmm. um, I, one of my favorite cases that I ever had was a one-year-old, and his mom said that he was born mad. He just, he wouldn't breastfeed, he wouldn't mm -hmm. cuddle, he wouldn't do anything, he just constantly screaming and mad. Terrible stomach problems, all this mm -hmm. kind of stuff. stuff. In the course of one month, mm -hmm. he went from screaming, no cuddling, digestive problems, no mm -hmm. verbal, no, talk, no crawling, mm -hmm. to speaking, walking, um, breastfeeding, no digestive issues, wow. happy in one month. Hey, Dr. Wow. Terry Walls. Yeah, the, other th the other thing uh, about the Walls protocol is we all have mitochondria, we all have cells. Eating a nutrient-dense diet will reduce symptoms for probably nearly every mental health problem, every neurologic problem, every chronic medical problem. Will they be reduced so much they can get off drugs? Uh, maybe, maybe not. Will they have more energy? Likely. Will they have less uh, weight problems? Likely. Um, will they have less inflammation, uh, better health overall? Likely. Is it pretty safe? Yeah. So the more deeply we can get this out into our community and let it spill over into the general public, um, I think the better for the country, uh, the better for the world. Paleo parenting, and we have with us to help us with that, 
Kendall Kendrick. So even when we're doing our best to feed them well at home, they're exposed at every single turn. And if we say we don't want our kids to eat pizza or we don't want our kids to eat cupcakes, um, we'd like to find some healthier treats, then people look at us like we're crazy and that we're depriving our children. Okay. And we're here with Jimmy Moore. Hey. I think if everybody took that attitude that was passionate about this and mm -hmm. truly let that passion fuel them with where their gifts and talents are, we could change the world. Thank you very much for Thank being you guys. Here. Yeah, you guys are awesome. Thank you. Thank you.